Good evening. I want to thank all of you for coming today. And uh, I want to thank especially, at first, God, but um, my sister, Carol, who lives in Denmark, and his, his husband, Brian, or Brian, and my wife, that is here, also, Fernanda, and to have the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, it's the third letter in Denmark that I do. I, uh, I am very glad to be here. And tonight we're going to speak about depression and the joy of living. To speak about depression, we would need uh, almost 10 hours of lectures. So we can, we could uh, take a view in all aspects of depression. Because depression has many different causes. And uh, I have a lecture which is Jesus, the greatest psychiatrist ever, and which it was uh, recorded here, and it's in its uh, have a translation to 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 Dansk. and uh, it, it was made by, with the help of Sonia Araujo and Vera from the GIAC. and uh, I would uh, say that it's it's a. I guess two or three hours of lecture. Then the second one, we speak about the depression and the spiritual obsession. The spiritual influence uh, starting or increasing the dep depression problems. The third one, we speak about depression and the attachment. Uh, the truly richness because our brothers, the Buddhists, they lose to say that there are two causes for the suffering of humankind. The first is ignorance, when we do not know about the laws of the universe. The second cause is the attachment to the things that are not eternal, that are only uh, perishable and uh, temporary, then we should uh, learn how to detach from these things so we can have a better life. And as we know, there's the depression, the financial depression also that, I, that I've heard that here in Denmark, you don't have this kind of problem. So I don't need to worry about this. The other one is depression and uh, maidenship. When we study the influence of the spirits also, but uh, studying the faculty of maidenship, because Allan Kardec has told us in the book the Genesis that in the he gets the the prophecy of Joel, which is again repeated in Acts, and that says that at the end of the times which doesn't mean the end of the world, or end of the planet, or end of the, the life, no. At the end of the times, or it means an epoch, uh, a time, uh, an age, funding a new era. So at the end of these times that we understand in the spiritualism that, uh, we, that the, our planet, which is a trial and expiations, planet will become a better planet, a world of regeneration. And uh, the bad spirits, they will not have the, uh, will not be allowed to get in, to reincarnate in this, ki this kind of world. There are going to be the separation. And we're going to start to tonight uh, about the separation that Jesus told us uh, between uh, goats and the sheep, okay? You please help me when, whenever I say some words that are strange, because sometimes I create new words that do not exist. Uh, I, <laughs> and please help me. And uh, whenever I, 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 I am doing fine, you keep smiling. Whenever you, you are too much serious, then I know that I need to rephrase. Uh, to, so you please help me anyway. You can uh, help me to. And we have at the end of the, our lecture tonight, uh, about 20 or 30 minutes uh, for question and answers. So 
there are, you have received paper and pen, then you may write your question, and at the end, we are going to uh, uh, try to answer all your questions, okay? As as the, the pos as possible is, but only the easy questions, okay? Only easy questions. The difficult ones you can do also, but we're going to to drop to 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 deliver to Rosalie, to to deliver to Rubens. Rubens is it? Yes, Rubens, and they they that have, have much more study. They going to to answer to you, okay? So don't worry. <laughs> and uh, then the prophecy of joy that says that at the end of the times, I will spread my soul in every flesh. Yeah, your sons, they will have visions. They have prophecy, they will prophetize. Prophetize and for us is one kind of mediumship. And uh, then uh, your sons will, will have, the old ones will have visions. The, the infants, they are going to have, uh, uh, they are going to prophetize. And even your serves, they are going to prophetize also. So it says that uh, what Allan Kardec has told us is like uh, uh, the mediumship would be much more common than before. Then, and uh, as we know that we are in these times of transition, what we call it planetary transition, it means that the, our world is changing to a better world, and uh, it, we, we perceive that a lot of people, they're not exactly mediums like Chico Xavier, Chico Xavier or Divaldo Franco or many others, uh, like Francis of Assisi and many others, would have a wonderful mediumship like Joanna, Joanna Dark, Joanna Dark, Joanna of, of Arc, isn't it? And uh, many others. But we are more sensitive to the influence of the spirits, which is good because we are going to be able, like just, this is a call that we need to wake up because Jesus has told us that at the end of the times, many of us would be distracted. And uh, we think that distracted is somebody which is, uh, he uh, just uh, dropped water, uh, you know, but no, distracted is somebody that it is not pay attention to really matters which is, uh, like he told us, uh, look for us at first for the kingdom of heaven and his justice, and everything else will be given to you in addition. So many of us now, we are so worried about television, the news, uh, the money, the consumers. We are so much worried about the things of life that we don't have time anymore to our spiritualization. The churches are empty and it's important for us not to look for not only for that, but at first for our spiritualization. Then uh, we study in, at this lecture the depression and manuscript. Each one of those is uh, about one hour and one hour and twenty. And uh, we brought some of them. They are recorded already, not all of them because there, there's more. There is other that is uh, depression and self-forgiveness, happiness with no guilt. Because many people, like me, uh, we have problems to say no, and uh, we, many times, it means that we have uh, some kind of guilty feelings of this life, of maybe from another life, unconsciously, guilty feelings. So it's very important the self-forgiveness. And in this lecture, we try to explain about this and give a lot of tips that how we may forgive ourselves, OK? And uh, because it, it is a very good plug. The spirits, uh, uh, through Divaldo Pereira Franco, in the books uh, of Manuel Filomeno de Miranda, it's the name of the spirit. He, he tells us that the obsession 
is uh, it's like uh, they we we are offering plugs to the spirits so they may connect us to us and to make uh, we have such a lot of problems and one of the best plugs is the guilty feelings so we need to forgive ourselves even to fulfill the commitment commandment that God, when Jesus has told us that love God about, above everything and your neighborhood as you love yourself. We need to love ourselves. And if we don't forgive ourselves, we cannot love, it, love, love ourselves. So it's very important also to, to develop this, this kind of feeling. And uh, uh, there, there are other ones uh, talking about the, the why they are the disease and what is the the meaning of that and how and what, what we, we should do in this spiritual treatments is a kind of uh, uh, overview around the spiritual treatments so they are recorded in portuguese but i have them in them and just one of those in 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 dansk i is dansk is dansk isn't it or danish Danish, I'm sorry. <laughs> Danish, and I have uh, in English uh, six of them. Okay, so whenever you want, they are available in DVDs and CD of MP3 audio that you may listen in your car, or in your iPhone, iPad, I, uh, uh, Android, the smartphone, and all. You know, you you you. You may watch it, and they are available also in television, in the internet, by the uh, febtv.com.br. Uh, is the television of the Federation Espir Espiritus, uh, Brazilian Federation. Okay? So, we're going to today have an overview, just an introduction about depression, and we're going to, to go to the, the last lecture that I love the most of them, which is uh, the joy of living, okay? So, I'm sorry this is, this slide are not uh, translated, but the joy of living, they are translated thanks to a, a, a friend, Santubo, from Orlando and his, her, her husband, which have, have translated for me, with uh, Priscilla from the Love and Charity Spirit Center of Orlando, okay? So, we know that uh, the World Organization of Health says that depression is the, one of the diseases of the century. Well, in the past, it was known as melancholy. That's why we not, did not hear about depression uh, many times, because the, the, the war, depression, have been just created ab around the 19th century, okay? And uh, in need to, to know there's the difference of, between sadness and depression, because the sadness is natural. Everybody has sadness. Only the psychopaths do not have sadness, do not have regrets. So we, when you have a problem, we have a, some kind of problem, it's natural, we have sadness. But it does not mean that we are depressed. Depression is only when the sadness is very long and very strong, and or the person does not need any reason to be under depression. So, some people they are born with different kind of body that it has uh, in genes or in the epi. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Today, the scientists, the scholars, they study that they are not only the influence of the genes, but the influence of epigenetic factors, different ones, and especially our fogs and uh, other, like a sun, like this excess of smoke, uh, tobacco, and so, drinking so much, and so on, okay? But we need to know that some people, like me, we don't need any reason to be depressed or to be euphoric. We have a, I have a kind of problem that it's named a, uh, bipolar depression or affective transtorn, transtorn affective bipolar. How is this? Affective uh, bipolar, bipolar transtorn, okay? Uh, disease. 
And we need to know that depression is not a laziness or when somebody has a, uh, some people will used to say, no, oh, you are weak. No, only knows where is depression, who is going through this, who never did, makes no idea how hard is the depression. So, well, we, it, is, it is useless to try to explain to somebody what is depression because if she never, the person never had the problem, they will not know, they will not know what you're talking about, okay? So it's very good to be a patient, to be uh, alert, alert to the problems and uh, to the signs because depression is one of the greatest causes of suicide. And they know that this lovely country that I adore. Every time I come here, I love the I love most Denmark. And uh, but we know that here and in the many other uh, wonderful countries, they have a have very high hate of suicides in their population. And we need to know because normally the people, the person says, "I'm going to kill myself." And the family says, no, no, she, she, she talks too much. She, who talks doesn't do it. But uh, they do. And it, we know sometimes it's to, to make some kind of, of, uh, of games or something like that to, to have some advantage. But uh, if she's talking about suicide, be alert. Because depression is very strong. Okay? So, we know that sometimes depression may be uh, confused. The doctor needs to know if depression or if this, th in Portuguese, it's TAB, like a bipolar affective disorder, a trastorn disorder, I guess. Uh, but some disease looks like depression and are not depression, like anemia, enemy, enemy, anemia, anemia, and anemia. Uh, if you have a deep anemia, you may you you lose uh, the the power the and you look like depressed but you're not you have anemia you, hormonal disorders also you know that how common is the pre uh, uh, pre part how can I say it in English depression pre part post part Postpartum and prepartum, the, the pressure is very common because the hormone rates, they are very uh, different. And you know that every month, the women, they have uh, a, a kind of problem. We, the husband, we have nothing to do about it, but uh, she, she gets different, isn't it? Yes, even the cat knows when she is on those days. He never, he didn't, he does not get close, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, and one friend of mine told me, Nano, do you know what it is, PMS? Oh, PMS is in a, a premenstrual syndrome, syndrome, syndrome. Uh, I said, no, it's not premenstrual uh, syndrome. PMS uh, means, uh, in, in English, it's this kind of joke. No, a friend of mine have told me, it's Pack my suitcase. <laughs> Pack my suitcase. I'm leaving. Eh? I'm, I'm not going. I'm not staying anymore. <laughs> Normally, it's hard for the husband. You see, the person is completely different. You say that there's a spirit or an obsession, something like that, but but it's it's only hormones. We need to take care. When of, so we need to check. Uh, the the T4, the T3, the the hormones of thyroids, and we need to know that the the vitamin B12, the, it's sometimes they do a kind of uh, symptoms that look like depression, if they're not. If you uh, get uh, uh, worms, worms, isn't it? Huh? In the stomach. Uh, yeah, the stomach. Wow. Yeah. Yes, if you have a problems, uh, deep, so, so um, some tre medical treatments, like if you are in chemotherapy, 
if you have a, if you have a cancer in it. So the person, it, it, it looks like depressive, but she's not depressive. She is under treatment that uh, it, it's very strong. When you know it's, it's good, yes, but we know that it's strong. And even some kind of uh, food allergia, allergia? Help me, please. <laughs> allergy. Yeah. Allergy. Allergy foods like, uh, uh, how do I uh, uh, Gluten. Yeah, gluten. Uh, gluten, allergy, <laughs> and maybe others, they say. So, what? Uh, and when you stop using drugs, also, you, you develop some upcoming time of cup syndrome that is very normal, and you get depressive. Uh, and, but some e g uh, days later, you're going to be better. No, uh, fibromyalgia, I don't know in English. And um, you know the, 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 the weather uh, uh, questions, like uh, here you have a very hard, very intense uh, uh, winter, and uh, sometimes all of this uh, in interfere in our, in our uh, minds also. If you did an abortion sometimes, uh, if you carrying a good feelings, it's very common if you did abortions normally to develop some kind of the depression. So you know that we know in spiritualism that the, the charity covers a multitude of sins. And we know, like Jesus has told us, that why she loved it so much, her sins were forgiven. So we know that we can change the bad we have done before by doing the good, trying, working on charity, working on helping other people, loving it, like Jesus has told us. Some kinds of mediumship also, if you, the person is, a, is a, a, around spiritual influences also, they're going to develop depression also, okay? Or symptoms that looks like depression, all right? And there are two kinds, big kinds of depression. When you have a reason that it's called reactive, if you have exogenous causes, like prepared, prospered, yeah, all this, and I said, when you lose your job, a separation, and when you divorce, uh, somebody dies and you pass away in your, in your family, when you work in, somebody, in something that you don't have no vocation for that, uh, any kind of diverse, diverse difficulties, whatever, and non-reactive, like I said, or constitutional. When some, the person have depression without a reason. It's my case. Since I was uh, little, oh, I'm still little, yeah. Since I was, since I was a, a child, uh, my, my mom looked at me and said, is, is this boy, uh, is he autist? Or is he uh, deaf or mute? Because I almost did not speak. I normally used to play alone. And I was very introspective. And I had depression since I was a child. And only when I was 22 years old, the psychiatrist uh, told me, no, you, you got a problem. I never have been in a psychiatrist before. And uh, I, then I realized all the things that I had in my life, the, the many times that I was euphorious, you know, euphoria, euphoric, and uh, when I, I, the other times when I was in a deep depression. And I, and I thought it was my personality, but no. And the doctors know now that the bipolar depression is much more common than the unipolar depression or the Great Depression. So we must, but, but uh, it's because bipolar is not means only erotic, but uh, it means also if you get a lot of anxiety, or you love it, or you are angry, and you, you know, when something is different and you uh, swing between the states of uh, depression and the states of euphoria, or the states of uh, anxiety and so on, and we know how common people are anxiety in, in, in those days. Okay, so this is the the two the you know you know all the symptoms. It's not you're not going to waste time on this. 
And uh, the, the, the tab in Portuguese, that is the bipolar depression, I told you, though that person has, uh, the thinking is very accelerated, a lot of insight. Uh, it, it, she feel, uh, the person thinks that she has a lot of power, uh, megalomaniac, megalomaniac uh, ideas, uh, spend more than, than, than usual. Then she, uh, the woman is, is, is euphoric, then she goes to the shop, to the mall, and she's carrying the credit card of the husband. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, <laughs> and then not only her is, is sick, but also he got depressed also when the bill comes, isn't it? So, <laughs> And uh, to speak too much, uh, to speak too much, sometimes the, the, the person loses uh, its voice, her voice. Uh, uh, reality, uh, a perception of reality uh, confused. And if, the, if the, it's a hard, it's a, if a, uh, a strong, the, the, the TAB, they may have even psychotic, uh, ex how could I say that? It's episodes, episodes, okay, and uh, the uh, depression and tab they have uh, consequences, direct and indirect consequences, like the alcoholism, use of other drugs, headaches in, and uh, allergies, suicide, and even the the, the immunity uh, gets lower. Then we know now why so many. Uh, wonderful men and women at the past, they died by tuberculosis because they have depression and at that time we do not have the antibiotics yet and many of wonderful women and women, uh, men and women, they uh, <coughs> passed away taken, taken by tuberculosis because they have where they have depression. So many poets, many uh, musicians, and we're going to see just some of the. Uh, but it, no, I say I don't say I am. I have depression anymore. I say that I am romantic, <laughs> because I found out that at the past all those romantic people they were, in the matter of fact, depressive. So it's now I say no. No, I, 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 I'm going to say that it's romantic because it's more fancy, isn't it? So whenever you are not feeling so good, you, say, you don't say you're depressed. You say, I'm romantic, and this <laughs> is going to pass, isn't it? Uh, uh, so many wonderful men and women, like I told you, uh, uh, Aristoteles. Aristoteles? It was to say that Socrates and Plato, they used to be uh, uh, alone, like they, it, it, it describes a, a, a melancholy state. William Shakespeare, the greatest uh, uh, dra drama, how could I say, uh, play, play writer, uh, Brown Lincoln, in, in, in the wonderful uh, President of the United States of America in Brazil, Santos Dumont, one of the, the men who invented the, the airplane, the Leon Tolstoy, the genius, the Russian uh, uh, genius of literature, Tolstoy had the IQ of 190. He was a genius, but he had depression. Virginia Woolf, Edgar Allan Poe, many others were romantic, even Ludwig van Beethoven. Beethoven, as uh, he was, he was a musician, but he, he didn't have a lot of money, so a lot of difficulties, and uh, he was not beautiful, he was not handsome, and he used to to be to fall in love for very rich and beautiful women, and uh, and, and 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 even so, and. When he was about the time that he is writing the the sixth to symphony, the pastoral, he gets completely deaf. Imagine somebody who lives from music, who breathes music, that only thinks about music, cannot hear not even 
the sound of the bells of the, the church, he couldn't hear anymore. But even death, even depressive, Beethoven has written to us the 90th symphony, one of the most brilliant symphonies of every time. And the name is Ode to Joy, to a tribute to, to joy. And he was like that. So if you are romantic, know <laughs> that you can do a lot of things like those men and those women. There are so many others, OK? But uh, we know there are, the, there are organic causes. Uh, we know about the, the neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, noradrenaline, and many others. One thing that is very important is, is the, 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 the lack of uh, working out. We need to work out. Our body needs uh, uh, activity uh, and problems with the, the sleep. Uh, causes, psychologist causes, well, especially guilt, like I said, that, said, said uh, uh, hurt, attachment, abortions, like I told you also, and social causes like uh, wars, uh, is isolation, uh, how is precocious? Prejudice. Uh, uh, ambiental causes like the weather, the weather well, uh, hungry, hungriness, uh, uh, and uh, Cultural, right now we have some, uh, how can I say this, the dictator? Dictator of, of beauty, of uh, sickness, how can I say this? Uh, richness, happiness. So we need to be thin, we need to be rich, we need, we need to look like happy, isn't it? And in the media, the TV, the, the newspapers and so on, that only speaks about the evil, the problems, the tragedies, and the suffering, and so over uh, valorization. valorization of the richness, the beauty, the power, the youth, and so on. So look how many different causes we have about uh, over depression. And more spiritual causes, like obsession, spiritual obsession, then spiritism. We study very uh, profoundly this and how to treat the, the uh, spiritual obsession. The auto obsession when the person him, herself uh, is developing uh, feelings of, of uh, guilt and many others, uh, vamp like a vampire. Um, as some spirits may uh, suck our energy, and it's it's very common, uh, as in matter of fact, especially when we are sleeping. I had uh, when I I have started at the spiritism. Uh, I was in a, a federation of, spirit, uh, of spiritism of Ceará, my state, where I was born. And the president has told me, Nazareno, are you fine? Are you OK? I said, I, I'm fine, Mr. Monteiro. But uh, I don't know if you know, I have depression. And, and even with taking the, the med medicine, the medication, even taking all the, the medical prescriptions, I, even so, there are three or four days in a month that I don't want to wake up on, on, off, off bed. I just, life loses all his colors, and I don't want to get out, I don't want to eat, I don't want to, to date, I don't, don't want to do anything. A profound sadness, anguish takes me. And then I he said, have you ever did the spiritual treatment? And what is spiritual treatment? Oh, we go to uh, rooms when we study the gospel, and we discuss in small groups. And because it's very important that we uh, do the inner transformation, because like Jesus has told us, that when, he, when spirit uh, is taken away, he goes through the desert. And when he knows that his old house is very clean, is all uh, uh, ready, he comes back, bringing seven other spirits weaker than him. So we don't, we just, we cannot only do the healing uh, treatment, the this obsession treatment. We need to do our inner transformation because we attract the good 
other bad spirits. According to our syntony, the, the syntony of, of a fox, okay? Uh, sometimes uh, uh, the gospel according to the spirituals tell us about the, the when we uh, miss the, the wonderful uh, spiritual Helm that we where we wear spiritual cities, and uh, it, it it makes us sad because we're here in a trial and expiation world. Also, the uh, when we the lack of self knowledge that and that, that the spirits book that says that is one of the most efficacious way the man uh, can uh, be more happy in this world and to be aware, to be uh, protected against the influence of evil. It's the question 1999. I'm going to show you this book. You, you have also in, the, in, in Danish, okay? The Spirits book by Alan Kardec. And we have in English also all of the, the books of Alan Kardec is the Spirits book. And this is the gospel according to spiritualism, and there is the book of the, the, the mediums book. These three books are the most important. He wrote about 30 spirits books, including, including the spiritual magazine. But these three, if you read these three books, you will take a very good uh, information about spiritualism. Okay, and. Uh, we have uh, seminars, lectures about self knowledge as well, but only in Portuguese. Uh, this one that I have told you, the, more, the biggest uh, sensibility to the spirits that is in this book, the Genesis. And we're going to, you know, we know that all, all, uh, all of these treatments, so the medication uh, antidepressives, antidepressives. And anxiolytics, anxiolytics is it? And if you have, like me, the bipolar disorder, you need to, uh, mood stabilizers, stabilizers, not antidepressants because otherwise we may uh, get high with, with euphorics. Uh, but it's very, very important uh, working out. Okay. The physical activity, uh, psychotherapy. This is very good and it's a very good way to do the self knowledge as well. Uh, Electroconvulsive therapy. Then we know that it's the electric shocks. Nazareno, this is isn't that something of the of the past? Isn't this a, a torture way? No, it's not. Ha has been used as well, but in a matter of fact. In that uh, very uh, strong cases of depression, it's very effect effective treatment as well. The electroconvulsive therapy. Then when a person uh, takes takes uh, even the spirits doctors and uh, associ medical association uh, of spirits in Brazil, they have a book when they sp talk about this kind of treatment, okay? And now there's a, a new one, some years ago, this is the intracranianus stimulation. That is, uh, they say this, it's good to also to, uh, to, to, to fight against depression. A, a healthy, uh, healthy foods, isn't it? Uh, do not use drugs, de uh, depressive drugs like alcohol. Alcohol is one depressive drug. We get uh, funny or we get more uh, happy when we drink alcohol because he ha do to us something, he de de decrease the censura. Autocritic, yes. So we have more courage, uh, and under quotes, isn't it? And uh, and we do a lot of things. But take a look that some hours after, you feel uh, asleep, you feel, uh, and the, in the other day you got headache, you're, you're not uh, of good mood because uh, alcohol, in a matter of fact, is a depressive drug. Okay, all the psychiatrists, all the, the, all the doctors say that. Do, do not use alcohol against depression. 
but many people do not want to use medication. Nazareno, what do you think about? Because they say these kind of things. What they say? They, ah, Nazareno, uh, psychiatry medication it is for crazy people. I'm not crazy. I'm not taking. The, I'm not going to take this, isn't that? Uh, some kind of uh, drugs may may develop a, a dependent dependence dependence. Addiction, addiction, you may develop addiction. And some drugs, you may get some uh, extra kilograms. <laughs> you, may, you, know, uh, you may become a little, a little uh, fat. Or we, we may say, I don't need this. What do you think? No. What, what would say Chico Xavier, the greatest spiritus medium that we have in, in this century? Chico Xavier. Whoever uh, used uh, traditional medication always uh, went to doctors to treat his body and used many allopathic drugs, who is to say that God inspires the science of the men of science so they may bring uh, relief to our pains, like the anesthesia and many other uh, drugs. So the drugs are helpful. We, you show use the drugs. We need to fight against the causes. Yes, all the causes that we said. But while we cannot uh, struggle all of them, we need to uh, relieve the effects, okay, of depression, because the psychiatrist medication may bring a lot of benefits. It helps with relationships. Uh, preserves the family because some people uh, uh, ask divorce because of the depression and many others, and, and the person gets worse. So it's good that you take care of your health. It helps you to go back to work that is fu it's fundamental. It's a, a kind of therapy also work. You remember Jesus, he told us, I work and, and my father works until this day brings motivation, disposition, so you can start a physical activity. You need to start out to work out. That is a natural treatment, and you have more disposition, so you're going to work to, towards the good, because the charity covers a multitude of sins, like in Peter, first letter, 4, 8. And uh, our guide, spiritual guide, he tells me, Nazareno, the drugs help us to change the mood and it may help us at the influence, spiritual influences because of the law of, uh, of synchrony and affinity. So if you take uh, the drug, if you change your mood, you're going to, to uh, disconnect from that fog and that fog that connect us to the evil spirits that are depressive hours that wants us to, to commit suicide, that wants us to, because they know that we're going to suffer, uh, suicide does not uh, uh, fix our problems. In the other hand, it, uh, it uh, increases so much more our, our problems. So we need to know that it's good to take care of the, the, the symptoms while we are tra treating the Causes because the causes are on this on, in our spirits, okay. So many, uh, many, many, many patients. They say when they start to get the drugs, they say to the doctor, "Oh, uh, doctor, why didn't you say this? Give me this before, because it's, my life has completely changed." And if it's necessary to take this for the end, for the rest of my life, I'll take it. Like somebody who has diabetes needs to take this insulin. So like somebody who has high pressure needs to take the, 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 the medication also. What's the problem? If we need, let's take it. Of course, we're not going to be uh, accommodated. Relax, uh, you know, but we need to, to know that they are here to help us also. And we need to, to, to have more. Well, uh, when, when I, I, I did this treatment, spiritual treatment in Fortaleza, and I, I, I have such a, 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 I was so much better than even the, the, after the first day they did the, the Zobi session, uh, mediumship uh, session, uh, 
I do not need any more drugs to sleep because I only could sleep using drugs. It was a medication, not drugs. When I say drugs, I you know medication. And then uh, I was so, so good that my psychiatrist said, Nazareno, let's try and to take out the medication. And the, we did. And I was four years, wow, like, uh, like uh, 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 a new uh, and, and, uh, a youth, no? like, like I still was. But uh, when I moved to Brasilia, where I live now, in the cap capital of Brazil, and uh, I started to become romantic again. <laughs> and I so, said, what is going on? <laughs> I did a spiritual treatment. I was supposed to be cured. What's the problem? And I, our spiritual guide, by inspiration, he told me, Nazareno, uh, it, it's because God is, is so merciful that he does not allow us that we uh, meet all our enemies, our spiritual enemies, at, at, uh, instantly, instantly. So in that time in Fortaleza, we treated some of the people that you have uh, hurt in the past. But now that we see that you are uh, strong, that you are looking good, we said, oh, come, the rest, one, one of them more of the, <laughs> of the people come. No? So what's the problem? Go look for the psychiatrist. Go look for the spiritual treatment. What's the problem? And I said, OK. So, and, and, and the doctor, she, uh, she, she wanted to give me just a, a very uh, a weak uh, drugs. I, I knew a lot of them already. And I, I said, oh, no, I just need to take this. And then, no, I want a, a stronger one. Because, and why? Because I want to have strong, I want to have healthy, I want to have this position so I can work towards the good. I want to, to like Jesus has told us, hurry, no? hurry up uh, and reconcile with your uh, enemy while you're on the, world, on the way with him. So we need to walk hard and I, we need this position. So what's the problem? Let's take it. No, no, no problem. And uh, we, we need to know that some of them, they in, uh, interfere in the, at the concentration, at the blood. So like... Uh, uh, these drugs, like uh, I don't know in English how it is, but uh, uh, is the same way. Uh, omeprazole, uh, pantoprazole. Uh, 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 this is against uh, azia. Como é que azia? Oh, burning. Yeah, it's against burning. Nah? and may interfere in the 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 concentration of the of the drug in the, in the blood. And antibiotics. Uh, if you take a, uh, I don't know this, lachantes. Lactants. If you if you got a diarrhea, it, it also, it, it, diuretics also it, all this increase or decrease the concentration. Alcohol they going to right, make you the medication stop working. So you need to avoid this. Okay. And what is better? Right? It, because some said, oh, but uh, uh, some medication like the bipolar treatments they have they. They uh, we may win some extra kilos, and so I don't want to take them. But it's it's just uh, just a little, and we're going to have more disposition to work out, to job, and to uh, many things, different many things. And you're going to not going to uh, uh, attack the chocolate and the sugar because many times we eat when we are depressive. Oh, when you're excited, anxiety, isn't it? Anxious, and you, you know. So if you take the medication, it, it, it helps you to get extra kilos. But you, if you don't take the medication, you're going to attack the chocolate and the, the sugar because they give us uh, they increase the dopamine the levels in our in our brain. Okay, so and you're not going to do the exer exercises. So, and what is better? Uh, where, how could I say this? Uh, uh, a happy, uh, chubby guy, or? 
a skinny and sad man. No, it's better to be, <laughs> no? Or is the what's the word? Chubby. Yes, a chubby, healthy chubby. No, it's a problem. No, let's take the education out, okay? So this this seminar goes uh, 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 forward, but we are going now to start the 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 lecture, uh, Joy, and uh, the pressure and the joy of living. And to do to to introduce this, we're going to read a message. Uh, a, sci a psychographic message by the Spirit Emmanuel, uh, of Spirit Emmanuel by Chico Xavier. In, in, in its name, it's Joy and the Gospel. Whoever affirms finding in the Gospel's religion sorrow and bitterness commits great injustice. Undeniably, the sacerdotalism has many times impregnated with dark clouds the Christian horizon with certain forms of stereo worship. However, Christianity, and in its essence, its profound revelation of heavenly joy amongst earthly shadows. The coming of the Messiah is preceded by the visitation of angels. Mary, joyful, converses with a divine messenger, clarifying the celestial ambassador's arrival. Jesus is, is born in a humble manger, which is spotted by the light, the bright light of an unexpected star. Pastoral peasants are called by a spiritual emissary, suddenly materialized in front of them, declaring himself the message of great joyful news to all the people. In the same instance, crystal-like voices sang songs in heaven, praising the Creator and exalting peace and goodwill among men. You may find this video uh, in, in YouTube also, but it's very good. You, you show, look for the DVDs also. I need to go back here. It is a group that is named Celtic Woman, and they are going to sing Jesus, Joy of Man's Desiring. Of of Joseph Sebastian Bach, because music is also a message of joy and happiness. Celtic woman, Jesus, joy of man's desire. But while they sing, we go back to the message of Emmanuel by Psychovert by Chico Xavier. Contentment and hope start reigning. Later, the master begins his ministry at a wedding feast, marking the family's joy. As if sensing limitation and narrowness in any temple of stone to his world in the world, the Lord begins his preaching by the lake in full nature sanctuary. Flowers and birds, light scent, represent the frame of his message. Crowds hear his shooting voice. The sick and the lame are deeply touched by his consolations. The poor and afflicted, afflicted glimpse new horizons in the new future. Women and children accompany him cheerfully. The Sermon of the Mount is the anthem of the beatitudes, suppressing grief and despair, 
through with the divine friend, establishes contagious joy. In op the open field, he multiplied the bread for the hungry. The treatment given by the master to the sufferers, who were considered as useless or worthless, creates new standards of true trust in the world. The good news apostolate unfolds under the climate of perfect joy. Each creator that are touched by the consoling gospel begins to contemplate the world and life through a different angle. The earth becomes a blessed school of spiritual preparation with sanctifying service for everyone. Each patient who is renewed to good health is a for, vehicle for happy cheer for the whole community. Each sufferer who is morally comforted becomes an edif edification for the immense crowd. Madeleine magnifies the love and becomes eternal beauty reborn, and Lazarus rises from the grave, lives resurges reinfant and immortal. And yet, the blood sweaty tears of the cross, the Lord makes the fountain of life flow victoriously for the whole world. The resurrection of the sun radiates in the humanity, holding its spiritual growth toward the endless centuries. It's on the book uh, Antologia Mediunica do Natal, or the book Roteiro in Portuguese, by Francisco Cândido Xavier, the Federal uh, Brazilian Federal Spiritual Federation. Joy and the Gospel. So now. So let's begin our lecture. <laughs> what do you think? Joy is a virtue or a defect? It's a virtue, isn't it? But do you remember that in the medieval ages, is maybe smiling was a devil's thing. The the book, uh, the name of the rose by Umberto Eco, maybe you have read it, and it shows us some some kind of this. While the word gospel, which is from the Greek evangelion, means what? Good news. Is it right? Because many of us had read the the good news, and we're still sad, we're still in sorrow. It looks like that we did not understand the good news. Jesus turns water into wine at the wedding at Cana. He compares his things as a wedding path when the Pharisees ask if the, his apostles do not fast. And, if, and, and he said, they, how could they fi fist? Fist, or fist, no? Jejumar? Fist. If they are with the groom in in the wedding party, and who knows what it means, uh, blessed of the summon of the month. You just need read this. It's right here. Means happy. So Jesus is talking about happiness. Happy, uh, blessed means happy. So happy the. The merciful, because they will receive mercy. Be happy are the afflicted, because they will be consolated. Uh, happy the poor in, in spirit, the poor of, of pride, because they will, uh, because the heavens is, is for them, for them. And so on, he's speaking about happiness in the Sermon of the Mount. A, this research says that sadness may uh, develop a lot of disease on us, so we need to be try, trying always have joy, isn't it? And in Nazareno, in what the Spirit's book tell us about this? Well, what the questions 719, uh, Allan Kardec asks us, it is blameable um, in a man to seek after the comforts and the joy enjoyments of corporeal life? And the superior spirits answer. 
the desire of corporeal well-being is natural to man. God only prohibits excess because excess is inimical to preservation. He has not made it a crime to seek after enjoyment if that enjoyment be not acquired at another's expense. And if it be riot, riot, I don't know, riot. riot of a nature to weaken whether your moral or your physical strength. Okay? So the spirit books tell us that is natural. We look for the, the enjoyments of corporeal life. And the gospel according to spiritism, what does it say about that? At the chapter 17, that, uh, the, uh, the item 10, there's a message, the worldly person, which is the man in the world. And we, we brought this from, to you. Always be happy and content. And it is, and it is it's an order. Always be happy and content with the happiness which comes from a clear conscience and the contentment of one with will inherit heaven and it's counting and it's counting the days till they receive the inheritance. Okay? So this good spirits tell us to look for and be uh, joyful, be happy. And why are we here? Which is the human life's proposal on earth? Who knows? Well, I know that, uh, 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 raise your hand because there's there so many people trying to, to answer. Well, development and self uh, Oh, very good, development. Let's, let's, say, uh, let's hear, see what the uh, Spirit told to Alan Kardec. Alan Kardec had the question 558 of the Spirit's book. The, in the question, he starts to answer already. And the superior spirits, they, they just uh, uh, fulfill it. And we did a, a, a resume. A resume. There is have spirits anything else to do but work out their own personal amelioration? The answer is they cooperate in the production of the harmony of the universe by executing the volish, volitions of God, whose ministers they are. The spirit life is a continual occupation, hurt one that has nothing in common with the painful labor of the early life. Because there is, isn't neither bodily fatigue nor the anguish of bodily wants. So, you know, that we, our mission our, uh, is to work out our personal humiliation. Not to save the others, not to save uh, our, our, our children, or our, our son, our daughter, or husband, or no. Our mission here is to become better people. Executing the God's will and uh, to help the harmony of the universe. Okay? That's uh, our. So, and sadness, we know that it's dissatisfaction, it's inadequacy. It may be a result of the beliefs, not knowing how to deal with the loss, loses, uh, perfectionism, frustration, the not accepting the reality, the motivation, hopelessness, impatience, compulsion to control others. Oh, this is very important, you know, because we men, uh, uh, we, 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 we people, we're always trying to change the others, isn't it? The girls, when we marry the guys, they say, oh, say, uh, when we get married, I will put him on the line. <laughs> he will be just fine, just wait. And uh, what happens? We, the men, we don't change. We only become worse, isn't it? <laughs> and men, we, uh, 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 at the contrary, we want that the, uh, uh, the, uh, the ladies, they do not change, and they do change. <laughs> and uh, so nobody, is, nobody is, is happy, you know, because we are trying to change others. So we should stop this because it's, it's useless, yes, it's, not, it's not worth it, okay? And all of these kind of, of fogs, through repetition, becomes a kind of 
epinoetic process like a self-obsession, auto-obsession that we said before. So we need to take care of about sadness. And uh, what's the main cause of human's moral imperfections? It's in the Genesis chapter 3, item T. Kardec tells us that if one studies all the passions, even all vices, one sees that they have the origin in the stink of self-preservation. Okay? And then what is that, Nazareno? Well, the, the book Genesis from 1868, Alan Kardec passes away uh, in 1869, and he, we do not, uh, he did not uh, go further on this topic. But it's, uh, which are the self-preservation instincts? Well, we have the hungerness, isn't it? Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to, to resolve this. And uh, we have the thirstly, we have the uh, sleep, we have the sex well, instinct also. Uh, we have the uh, uh, mother's instinct. We have the, the fear. The fear is, is to protect us. It's an instinct very strong and it's very good. But because of fear, we develop a lot of problems. Because we have fear of getting poor, of uh, being hungry, and then we start to, to store a lot of things and, and money and so on, because we have fear of, 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 of feeling such a kind of lean of cold and many others. And the psychologists, they say that the second biggest fear of the man is the fear of being rejected by his fathers, by his parents. And then we want to please very much our parents. And as they appreciate people who have a lot of money, then we're going to develop uh, all this. The cobiça, greed, greed. We're going to develop uh, selfishness even more. We're going to develop uh, um, uh, 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 ambitions, uh, too, much, too much ambitions, and many others. We're going to rob, we're going to uh, do not pay taxes, do anything to get money. That's why, because we have fear of not being loved by our parents. Because of, of fear of not being loved, we, and that people that brag so much, they are uh, uh, uma massa. a thread to us because they make us feel that we are not as beautiful as they are. Right? You see that like that top models, women, that uh, actress, they are such beautiful, they have wonderful hairs, wonderful uh, bright eyes, uh, wonderful smiles, uh, perfect bodies, and, and they are rich, they have uh, uh, fame, they uh, have talent, they have many other things. They, they are a treat for us. Because they uh, uh, do us think that ourselves that we are short, that we are not uh, good enough, that we are not beautiful enough, and to uh, ourselves they are extremely thin, isn't it? Extremely thin. So we de develop the envy, and to 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 stop the envy, we start the malediction. To Melod sense, we, we speak. But so many other vices and even anxiety. What is anxiety? Anxiety is, isn't it the fear of the future? That the bad things that may happen that normally do not happen to us? And we forget there is a spiritual programmation. When we, are, when we reincarnate, we... Uh, with the, the good spirits help us to, to, to program our life here on earth. So we are only going through the experiences here that, be, that will be good for our spirits. So we don't need to worry. Like Jesus has told us, don't you sell a bird for two, two dollars? 
And I tell you that uh, they, there's no one of them, that birds fallen in the ground without my father's permission. Even your hairs is numbered in your head. My ones are easy to, to, <laughs> to number, uh, to count, isn't it? There, there, there's no much. So you see, there's a lot of things we could spend all night long talking about the fear, but we don't have enough time. But was the bad, was, was Nazarene, I understand, I, I, I am uh, uh, even getting a panic attack, only if you're talking so much about uh, fear. But uh, was the best thing against fear? The best medication against fear? Huh? Confront, confront it, it's okay, it's good, but it's faith. Faith is the mother of a lot of virtues, says the gospel according to spiritualism. But Nazareno, I understood perfectly, but the problem is that my faith is, more, is smaller than a mustard seed. <coughs> How do, I, do we develop faith? With the knowledge, man. Like Jesus has told us, uh, know the truth. He didn't say know the Bible, know the, the Torah, know the, the good news. No. No, he said, know the truth. So we need to go forward the truth in the science and the philosophy and the spiritualism and everywhere else. Look for the truth, and the truth will set you free, isn't it? So the knowledge and the self knowledge man, will help us to have a very strong faith. Then we can struggle all these challenges that we spoken some of them. We will be more. Uh, uh, we do a lot of more charity. We do. Uh, uh, we will not have so much envy and so on because so that's why that's so important to study the. The spiritualism, even somebody asked to Chico Xavier, Chico Xavier, what is the best treatment against spiritual obsession? And he said, the first and the most important treatment for spiritual obsession is the study of uh, Allan Kardec's books. That's why the spirit centers have always uh, studies that are for free, and uh, it's very good because we have a lot of friends, and we become, well, and we increase our faith, and we can face all the problems or with much more, uh, uh, okay, striking, uh, understanding this kind of problem that is the self-preservation instinct. Uh, we're going to, some slides are going to be more fast. We know that, uh, Okay, so I'm going to change someone. We know that Earth is like an academy, like a school. We will have problems, yes, challenges. And we know that spirits, we do not, spiritists, we do not say we have problems, no. We, have, we say that we have a evol evolutive, evolutive challenges. Evolutive challenges, is it right? Yeah, so when instead of you saying anything about your husband, you said to, to your friend, uh, darling, uh, my friend, you, I, you need to see the, uh, great, the, the big challenge uh, uh, that I have in my home at this reincarnation. Uh? <laughs> I shall be a very uh, great spirit, so God gave me a, such important mission like this, you know? <laughs> Instead of seeing just problems, no. They are evolutive challenges, okay? Change this world, problems, change this world, depression, and use uh, challenges and use uh, be romantic in, in matter instead. Okay, it's very important. Yes, it's true. It, it, it's, it's like uh, Buddha used to teach the, his his disciples, disciples else. Uh, 
Uh, one day, one of the disciples they, uh, came to Buddha and asked, uh, Master, I cannot concentrate. I cannot meditate because I think of, of this, I think of that. I cannot uh, keep my mind on silence. How, what can I do? And Buddha smiled and said, no, there's not a problem. You may think whatever you, you want, but do not think about the monkey. The monkey? Yes, that animal, the monkey. Think of anything else, but not the monkey. <laughs> and he thought it was strange, and he returned to his, his, his place. And after two hours, he came back and master, I cannot take uh, uh, the, the monkey of my head. <laughs> he could not stop thinking about the monkey. So when we, we uh, struggle the, the bad fogs, we give them power, in a matter of fact. So we need to replace them. So replace the bad words, replace the bad fogs with good occupation, good, good things, good readings, good music, good exercise, good friends, and so on, OK? Let's dance. Let's do some, something we like. So, and today we have so many more reasons to be for more happiness. You know, at the past we had such a lot of wars. Now we have wars. Yes, yes, it's true. But we have so much more civilization. With drugs, now we have irrigation, so many other solutions. Codes, no. Now we have fire, we have heating, we have wonderful clothes, isn't it true? Now, fierce animals, no, we have pets, in, in the, isn't that? And, and it's very good for health, they say, for, 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 uh, for the heart, uh, for, for depression also. We're in the darkness, now we have energy and light. Disease, no, such a, many different medical treatments Pain, now we have anesthesia. Uh, in the past, nostalgia, loneliness. Now we have such a different ways of communications. In slavery, now we have so much more freedom. Uh, sadness at the past, now we have so many art, different arts, music, poetry. We have literature. We have uh, 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 movies, né? cinema, and many others. Uh, yeah, in the past, so many ignorance. Now we have a lot of science, knowledge, man. We had such a longing for Jesus, and now we met the promised counselor, as we believe that spiritualism is the promised counselor by Jesus Christ. So, uh, so we, if you want to know something about this, I have told you these th three uh, books, especially read, especially these three books by Allan Kardec. We found it in English, in, in, including you're going to find it at internet, but to to download for free as well. And uh, let me, but we think that uh, uh, wishes, uh, we, uh, satisfying our wishes, we're going to be happy, but the wishes have consequences, because we want to sleep too much, but we lose the treasure of time. We want to eat, but there's a problem if we get fat, isn't it? That we, we want that spirits do, should, should do everything. No, we we they, we won't have any merits. And development, so they only will we, they, uh, they only will do what they are supposed to do. What we are supposed to do, they will not do for us. Oh, Nazareno, but if I was rich, I was going to be very happy. But it's a hard trial. We may fail. We're going to be uh, afraid of canary picking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, isn't it? And after we die, we're going to watch our family disputing the hair intense. So, you see, happen, richness does not bring happiness. Uh, Nazareno, I want to, I like when I seduce, I'm looking for the twin, my twin soul, and what happens? We trap ourselves. In, instead of alma gemas, which is in Portuguese twin souls, you're going to find algemas, which is handcuffs, you know? So we're not going to find any happiness to that. Uh, but Nazarene, this one, I am going to be happy when I got this, to re when we retire. When what happens when we retire? Depression. <laughs> yes, inactivity is one of the biggest causes of depression also. And as you are not busy, people will ask you to do small jobs. In Portuguese, we have a joke, but we could not translate to you. So, uh, 
And uh, what should what do you recommend for a joyful life? Lovingness, as Jesus had told, love our God, our God above everything. Love your, your the, the others and love yourself. Great too, and spiritualism because spiritualism has is going to explain the gospel much better. It's going to show us a reasonable and a very rational way to, to, to understand life. So what happened after the spiritualism doctrine? Is, this is not kind of criticism, critic, but uh, just to say what is some uh, difference of different philosophies and religions and what, ha what changes after the spiritualism doctrine. You see, with the Madden shift, we were uh, uh, call it witchcraft, uh, mad, or uh, uh, a way to deceive people, and now we have the opportunity to help. We know that mediunity, uh, uh, many in some cases, not mediumship, but mental disorder or charlatanism as well. We know that it happens also. We medium at the past, we were a saint, witch, uh, mad or fraud. Now we are medians at development. We may work for, for help people. Uh, hierarchy, uh, he's the hierarchy now. Fraternity, blind obedience, a part of science. No freedom and be according to the science. Aceptism, no. Now we're going to look for altruism. Uh, fasts, no. Now we look for the temperance. Uh, there, in some philosophies or religions, there are restrictions for some kind of foods. Now we know that, according to the Spirit's book, that food may be shall be according to the Constitution. It is in the Spirit's book. Uh, a necessity, necessity of initiation, like baptism and something like that. We know that the most important is the inner transformation. Uh, the, necessity, the necessity of confession, so somebody would uh, forgive our sins? No. Uh, uh, now we know in the questions 621 that God's love is in our consciousness. We, before we believe in vengeful God or that God punishes, now we know as Jesus has told us that God is our Father, God, that God loves and he has uh, perfect laws uh, as well, and we have the the a colheita a semeadura livre, mas a colheita obrigatória. No, but it's okay. The, 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 law, the law of cause and effect. No, uh, the, the original sin, no, and Jesus has told us that to each one according to his deeds. Guilt, no. Responsibility. Eternal punishment, no. The spirits have told that we, we, there are fair consequences. We build our future because love covers a multitude of sins. Work was a punishment? No, work is a blessing. It's a therapy for us. We needed at the past to do blood sacrifices, the rituals, and something like that. And Jesus has told us, I deserve mercy, not sacrifices. Uh, we did pr promise and, and began with the gods. And now we know that there's a law of love, mercy, and justice. Is Everything is according to the need and the merit. Uh, Asceticism and closure? No, and neither spirit us in the gospel according to spiritualism. Live as men live in your time. Imposes celibacy? No, no, now responsible sexuality. We had a, an inexorable, uh, inevitable, inevitable karma. And you know that law and cause of fact, we have a dynamic karma. Because she loves us so much, her sins were forgiven. Right? Self material, don't know, more progressive moral reform. We feel the devils or invite, envy the angels now. We know the spirits are men, souls that live on earth. The, the angels are oldest brothers, and the demons, they are uh, uh, spirits that uh, are still um, impure, there's not good persons yet. They are younger. It, it's forbidden to question now, oh, free thinking. There were forbidden books and some uh, philosophies or religions. No, uh, we know that they uh, like uh, uh, Paul in Thessalonians so do not despise prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on what is good. Forbidden clothes? No, a proper dress, and mandatory zero. Now voluntary contribution, so we don't have mandatory zero. How is it? It's pronounced. 
tithe, I'm sorry, mandatory tithe, voluntary contribution. Deaf and uh, separate modern children now, you know, is always together. There was mysteries uh, reserved. No, now, now we have logical and rational answers. Or oh, the man mythology, legends, now we have explanations. We know the, the, uh, the methods and symbols. Many times you, we're talking about uh, things that is, that is right, but it, the, there's a, it was a, a metaphor. Uh, there were secrets reserved to a small group. No, now you know. And the 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 spirit of truth told us that spirits. Uh, there were there are two uh, teachings: love one another and educate ourselves. So he asked us to educate, to study, to to develop our intelligence as well. Strict discipline? No, no, healthy discipline. Good habits. Uh, that passage, much will be required from everyone to whom much has been given. And when I read that, I said, oh, I am in trouble because I'm not doing not even 1% of what the good spirits want us to do. But uh, we know that this, who said this was Jesus, and probably he was talking, saying this to a teacher of the law, or to a Pharisee, when he was always very energetic, because that man had a lot of uh, knowledge meant, but they little practice. And, and they was always uh, seeming to be something that they were really wasn't in, in real life. So, uh, privilege for a few. Uh, now meritocracy, salvation with no effort? No, you know that there's a law of evolution to teach the one according to their deeds. Uh, in happiness, not words, you know, happiness with resignation here, now, and forevermore. Before, you have a lot of problems. You see, ugliness is what was a problem. Now we see some spirit had t tells us that, uh, that uh, Ugliness may be a, some kind of protection, spiritual protection, like an uh, armor, armadura, armor. Uh, uh, just uh, look some some of, of the missionaries of Jesus, like uh, 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 Teresa, uh, Teresa of Calcutta was a beautiful woman. No, she was not beautiful, isn't it? Uh, uh, Friends, uh, uh, Chico Xavier no, it was not a, a, a beautiful man, also. Uh, Francis of Assisi, they say that he was very, very ugly. <laughs> and wasn't that spiritual protection? Because if they had men and women, if they were very beautiful, very handsome, maybe it will be a problem to, for the fulfillment of their mission. So we need to understand that even ugliness is the good. So if you are not from here, if you are not Danish, if you are from not have this, uh, this, this physical body, that but if you are from Sierra like me, it's, you are protected. You know? See how wonderful it is, this, this doctrine, isn't it? So uh, uh, look at this. Huh? Pain, you know, is a friendly master. Depression, you know, longing for the spirit's world, unemployment. You, you can have, do a voluntary work. Suffering is an opportunity to wake up, to, to learn, and so on. And uh, problematic children, as I know. No, uh, the, in the Gospel according to Spiritualism, the chapter 14, 8 and 9, uh, the Saint Augustine tells us that the fathers that take care of the uh, problematic children, they, they, uh, the mission is not as hard as they think, and they, God will uh, recompense. Huh? To reward that, that parents uh, uh, greatly in the, the spiritual world, okay? Proofs and trial are opportunities. Uh, sex and pleasure sins, no, sex with love and responsibility. And uh, suicide, we, we believe that it was to eternal hell. In the spiritualism, we, we know that there's not such a thing like eternal hell, because love of God is, is an, uh, huge. And he's, we, it's, there's an intensive suffering and learning, but not eternal. And no one is out of God's reach. Uh, we were an illusion of the matter. 
the Maya, like the, the, the people used to say, no, no, now we have the spiritual reality. And the death, that was something that we have a big problem. We know that it's freedom, it's a passport for the real life. And uh, there's something else. Uh, there are the umbrow, the no umbrow, the lower zones. Uh, many people, do we, are you afraid of umbrow? Oh, not really. Not really? <laughs> are you, uh, are you resigned <laughs> already? <laughs> oh, uh, well, one, one speaker came to, to Brazil, to Fortaleza, and he, he helped us to lose completely the, the, the to be afraid of umbrow. That, that which means the, the lowest spiritual zones. And, uh, and uh, he said, people, do not be afraid of Umbrau. And people uh, said, why, Fred? Because there will be a lot of people from, from here, we will be there. <laughs> even, yes, the people from Copenhagen, Ezo, also, yes. Even from the Spirit Center, also, yes, oh, you are here, oh, that's okay. And that, that person that was very problematic, I said, I knew you would come to here, uh, I, was sure for, I was sure of that. So why are you going to be worried about that? So what we should do? We should be uh, bloom wherever we are. So if, we, if I come to Umbrau, I told Fernanda, my wife, I said, Fernanda, when I die, uh, please put a, uh, a sign uh, is, 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 is written worker, worker. So when I come to Umbrau, and people ask, but Nazareno, you that was were an international speaker, you were here in Umbrau? I said, yes, but I came to work. <laughs> I came to work. <laughs> I came to do, I mean, we do lectures, we're going to uh, apply uh, uh, passes, né? healing, uh, magnetism, and we're going to uh, uh, study spiritualism. We're going to, such, to, to help everywhere. What's the problem? And we know that in the, the, the book No Solar, the Astral City by Andrea Luis, we know that people, the, the spirits that work in the umbrau, they receive in double. Yes, the, yes, their the remuneration is in double. And uh, they, have, they have the right to have a, a strongest uh, a, a footing because they work in that, that lower zones. So in that, I saw there is in this, that, that kind of people, the, the kind of job that I want to have in, in spiritual life, you know? So you see, and, and, and my spiritual guide, uh, Samuel, he told me, Nazareno, Umbrau is like a uh, spa. You know what, what is spa? <laughs> a spa is a place that you pay to feel hungry, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, you go there, people wake up in very early in the morning. Uh, Mr. Nazareno, let's wake up and let's go to, to the gym, let's, uh, let's run, let's uh, go to uh, uh, swimming, let's go to the uh, musculation and so on. And we get even hungry, uh, hunger. and uh, at the, the, end of the time of lunch, what is in our, in our plate? Salads, yeah, a, a forest. And we are there looking for something to eat, uh, and we found just a small something, beef or something like that, or chicken, and a lot of, of, of uh, vegetables. And, and um, uh, it, there's only that, and we going to, uh, like a call, uh, to be uh, eating that vegetables and say, oh, but this must be a dessert. Do you know which dessert they have in spa? Uh, diet gelatin. Gelatin? Gel diet gelatin. <laughs> but it's good, you know? So, is spa is a good or a bad thing? It's good because we lose weight, we do a lot of ex uh, working out, we be so much better, we be, uh, it's, it's good for high pressure, it's good for diabetes, it's good for depression, it's good for a lot of, a lot of things, self-esteem, you're going to sleep better, it's going to be wonderful. And he told me, this, the umbrau is like this spiritual spa. When, you, when we are going to lose our, uh, our uh, little fatness of pride, of materialism, <laughs> our attachments, our jealousy, our envy, all this kind of uh, stuff that we develop here, then because purgatory means a place that it's for cleaning, for, of purification. 
And so, if God allows us to be in a brow for some days, some hours, some minutes, it's for the for 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 our our best. It's for it's good for us, because like Paul used to say, uh, uh, thank God for everything because everything is for our good. And uh, uh, praise the Lord uh, for everything because, and so you know that even the bad things, in a matter of fact, they are for good. Okay, so we don't need to be afraid of Fumbrau anymore. Uh, one day, Chico Xavier was some friends with some friends, and he told us, uh, "My my friends, when I die, I want to go to heaven, which in Portuguese, in Portuguese, is céu, né? C E U." Uh, and and the, 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 those ladies said, "Oh, Chico, when you go to heaven, please do not forget us. Not, uh, think of our, about us and help us." Uh, and he smiled and said, I think you did not understand. When I said I want to go to, to heaven, to cell, it, it does not mean uh, heaven. It is cell, which means a, center, a, a, a spirit center of umbrau. <laughs> I want to work as a medium in umbrau to help my, our brothers. See? The good spirits want to go there, and we are afraid to go there. And the, the umbrella is full of mothers, full of good spirits trying to help us. But we are always not, uh, uh, with bad feelings, bad fogs, when we cannot uh, tune with them and we cannot even see them. That's why we should uh, uh, try to build this. Uh, we're going to, through this, look at the joy of the Jesus messengers like uh, Francis of Assisi and Clara. The joy for, of Chico Xavier, this is Peixotinho, one of the greatest uh, mediums that we have in Brazil also. And look, this is Chico Xavier. Look at his big laughing, isn't it? He is, was very uh, happy person, and to end our lecture, we're going to speak about Jerônimo Mendonça, the giant of joy and resignation. Jerônimo was a very tall man. He was young, he was healthy, and he loved uh, to play saxer. And we, he, he. Uh, at that time, that old times, there was the the movies about Tarzan. Do you know Tarzan, the king of the, the forest? Yeah? And, and, and he watched that movies, and he loved the movies, and he was tall and strong. Then he was in the mirror at the, at the restroom. Then he touched, uh, do this like this, and then, hey, Tarzan, you are Tarzan. Huh? And, and he was very proud of because he was very athletic and, and tall. And uh, for his happiness, he became a spiritist. And one day in the spirit center, a medium has said, I brought a message to somebody known as Tarzan. <laughs> then he, that's for me. And the spirit said, my friend, uh, hold the sipo, sipo, vid. Uh, the, the green uh, of, uh, you know, the, the things from the forest? The yeah, that comes from the trees. Whole dams be, uh, uh, in, the, in the, the trains of faith and the hope because you are getting uh, inside the forest of suffering. And it's not going to be easy, my, my, my sister, my brother. He kept that message, and some months later, he went to watch that movie, uh, Il Vento Levou. Gone with the Wind, four hours movie. And after the movie, he had to be taken by his friend because he could not walk. From that, he went to the Muletas. How do you Muletas? Huh? Teve que usar amuletas, you know? 
Help me. <laughs> and after that, for uh, uh, cheer well, wheelchair, wheelchair. And after, to a bed like that. He was completely paralyzed because he developed a disease. And uh, one of the eyes get sick, had to be extracted. And the other, six months later, he had, is completely blind. He was completely paralyzed in a bed and completely blind. You don't know what this man did? He was a speaker. He used to travel around Brazil in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a car. And he was always uh, speaking about joy of life. He always speaking about the gospel, the, the, about Jesus. He loved the poetry. He loved it. And he built three spirit centers and a shelter for 300 children. A shelter? Is it? Shelter house. Shelter house, yes, for, for 300 children. Uh, poor children. And he did a lot. We have uh, some tapes, some videos, uh, but at that time we have a, a long place uh, about Jerome Mendonça, his, his lectures, and he was amazing. And he was the sick, but he was to bring joy and hope for everyone. And uh, one day he went to a uh, a television show, and the reporter asked, but Mr. Geronimo, uh, if you could ask God something for you, not for only the children, no, but for you, what would you ask? I said, I would ask that I could move at least once at this way, but I can't move. And one lady that was watching the program called and said, I was going to kill myself today. But after what this man told, I'm not going to do this anymore. And uh, as he has insomnia, and he was medium, he, he could see the spirits, and he, could, he knew what was the problem in past lives that's what, that, that uh, did that he was trying, going to this expiation. And uh, he could not sleep. They uh, adapted a telephone to his, his, his head. And he was during the dolls, talking to the people who was depressive, who were thinking of suicide, and he was always uh, talking about the joy of life. And this man, uh, we have a lot of cases with Geronimo. One of one of the, one time he came to a spirit center to to give a lecture, and when he the president saw him and said, "Oh, Geronimo, we shall cancel the lecture." And why is that? Because we forgot to say that the, the saloon is on the second floor. And the only way to get up is this small stairs. You know, there's, there's spare round stairs. And if, you, if you're going to take you up, we need to uh, uh, in, uh, turn your, or your bed, and you may sleep, and you, you may hurt yourself. And then he was blind, but he said, no, I said, no, but I came here, I was going to speak, I'm going to do the lecture. But Geronimo is dangerous. And he, even blind, he said, I don't want to even see. <laughs> <laughs> but did the lecture, and so on. And uh, one day he was in, um, in, the, in the theaters, the cinema, movie, movie theater, and even he could not see, but he loved the sound, that energy as a medium, he could yeah, capture a lot of things. And uh, uh, after the, the, the movie started, they, they turned off the lights, and uh, one young lady came delayed, and at the dark, she didn't see his bed, and uh, tropeçou, fall, fall down, and she was very, Man, I said, oh, everywhere I go, there is this aleijado, oh, handicapped man. It's a, I cannot, if I go to the socks again, there he is. If I go to the other place, there he is also. Even here in the movies, it, that's, that's not a, a guy's hat ball. And he, instead of uh, is fine against her, what she, he does, he does. Yes, young lady, but you don't never stop at home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
you'll never stop at home. And after 50 years, he passed away and appeared to Divaldo Franco, which is medio uh, vidente. Uh, Clavardines, a medium, and uh, he was completely healthy, brightly, and he was very funny. He would like to play jokes, uh, 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 good jokes, you know, and and, uh, and even so, he was very funny and and said, Divaldo, uh, 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 Divaldo, he said, uh, Divaldo, uh, uh, you, in a matter of, uh, you see, I am the giant now that, because he knows as the the laying die lay, laying da, lying down giant, o gigante deitado, the lying down giant, and he said the lying down giant is on foot, tá de pé, it's stand up, and you know what? I was a better speaker even than you. Duvaldo is the, the most famous speaker, spiritual speaker in the world those days. And he's, he said, yes, Jerome, why is that? Because after you used to c complete your, your lectures, people used to, to, to clap you uh, uh, standing up. That's true, you were really good, but was even better than you. Yes, you know, why I say that? Because after I, I quit my lectures, I was, I was, I, I was carried by the multitude. <laughs> because he could not walk, he was in a, in a bed, you know? So, what is this, this man, what spiritualism has done to this man so he could nourish such a, such a kind of love, of hope, and joy of life? It's a very, Gave, uh, left a bright uh, 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 light in here in our, our place. So, like it has, Jesus has told us, it's not written, you yeah, are gods, you are gods, you are able to do everything that I do and more if you will. You are the salt of the earth, the ferment of the bread, the light of the world. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that may, they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So, thank you very much, my friends.